Welcome back. We are here looking at the markets, and this is going to, this is going to be my daily forecast for March 24th, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's get into it. We'll start by looking at the energy market, then we'll look at the indices, and we'll probably also look at some of the stocks in the uh, the forecast for the volatility um, for yesterday. So we'll start by looking at WTI, and as you can see, we have absolutely crushed it today. We're up at 4.96%, and we are as it looks at the moment, ready to go back towards these highs. So top of the Bollinger Band is right here, 123, and that is where we'll most likely find a start to find resistant, but we are in a massive uptrend. And as long as the war is continuing in the in Eastern Europe, then this market will continue to increase. And uh, yes, it doesn't look like every single time we go towards the middle of the bullish bandage band or the 50 moving average they those are major support levels that uh, people are buying into if you look at the uh, technical indicators we can see that um, macd is crossing the signal signal line yet again indicating that we are going to have a bullish uh, run yet again we are also having a, a bullish signal here at uh, the stochastic and also the rsi is is fairly low at 61 at this current stage. Uh, figured it was up at 83 uh, when we topped here up at roughly uh, $130 per barrel. So there's a long way to go before we get this overstretched. At this point, it is still very volatile, but if you scroll out, trend this upward, and usually you double test this uh, top before this uh, goes down. If there is peace in East, Eastern Europe, then yes, this will drop like a rock. But at this current stage, it doesn't look like that is going to be the case. case. So if you look at natural gas, we can see that we got all the way up towards uh, $5.3 and then we pull back. At this current stage, it looks like uh, natural gas is going to pull back towards the middle of the bullish band, roughly a 4.7. If that breaks, then we have the 250 moving average down here at 4.5. And that's probably as far as this market goes. Even though that um, this is the time of year when this market usually falls, we can see that there is a fairly nice uptrend to this market. Uh, we it. It is a very volatile market, so it gets very overextended, for example, here and here, and then it drops like a rock. But uh, in general, we can see that this market is basically an uptrend and bouncing off uh, this uptrend line and then uh, retracting at this upper trend line. So at this current stage, we are we did approach this uh, upper trend line, and therefore we may go all the way to the bottom, to the bottom here. here. I don't think that we'll get all the way down, probably to the 50 and 100, 50 and 100 moving average. That's where we'll find major support. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish. We can see the stochastic is becoming bearish, and so is the RSI. And usually, these two. Um, Indicators they move faster than the uh, than the MACD. If this continues to fall, then we'll probably see the MACD cross the signal line within the next two trading days. So at this current stage, pullback is kind of expe expected. If we break this uh, uptrend line, then we are going to significantly higher levels. Um, the reason for this is that the world is basically in an energy crisis at this current stage. Um, many factors, uh, mostly the war in Europe is the one that is contributing to this energy crisis. So if you look at the, the indices, we'll start by looking at the Nasdaq. And the Nasdaq has pulled back quite um, nicely today, down 1.33%. The same goes for the all, other, all the other uh, indices, indices. And you can also see the major tech stocks, they're also all down. Apple is hanging on, but it is wobbly. It has rallied significantly in the last the last uh, seven trading sessions, give or take, and so have them all. And therefore, a pullback is expected. There is a lot of things that are going against, uh, uh, especially the tech market, uh, which has seen this massive rally uh, the last two years, and therefore, a uh, pullback is kind of expected. If you look at Fibonacci for Fibonacci retracements for this market long term, we can see that 
that the 50 is right here around 11 750 and the 60 Fibonacci retracements down here at 10,500 so in long-term perspective that is probably where we'll end up if if uh, inflation continues to be a problem if uh, interest rates are going to increase as expected probably seven to eight hikes this year uh, that will basically bring it up to to uh, roughly, roughly uh, two and a half two or three percent uh, depending on how much they basically increase increase it in uh, each time but inflation is you know, getting completely out of hand and they have to do something about that and of course the uncertainty of escalation in the world in the, middle, in the eastern europe is also going to play a significant role but if we break below this candlestick of yesterday, roughly 14,300, then this could drop to the middle of the bullish band. That's 13,900. And after that, all the way down to the very bottom, roughly 13,000. Breaking below that, then that opens to a massive door of, well, at this current stage, roughly 1,000 to 1,500 points to the downside. But that will most likely take several days as this will most likely also take several days in order to get to the bottom if we go in there if we take out this top here then we could head towards the 200 moving average where we also have a double top here and breaking above that then it's kind of sure that we are going to the very highest yet again, yet again. Uh, very unlikely i my my bet is definitely that we'll go lower as i don't see any positivity at the uh, in the market at this current stage earnings are going to be much worse than they were last year uh, rates are going to be increasing bonds are increasing um, and there's a lot of uncertainty for the economic out uh, outcome and of course inflation if we look at technical indicators, indicators we can see the macd it is bullish at this current stage stochastic is becoming negative and so is the RSI and these two, they move faster than that one. And therefore, these are probably the first one you should look after. In the next you know, probably two, three trading days, we will see that the blue line here will most likely turn around and hit the red line. So if you look at the uh, S&P 500, very similar here. If we take out the highs of yesterday, then we're most likely going towards a 4,580, give or take, or 60. Uh, 4,600 give or take if we break below the 50 moving average then the middle of the bullish band comes into play, play and then the very bottom here roughly 4,000 uh, 4,130 that's where we kind of ended up last time breaking that then this will drop another 500 points to the downside also here stochastic is turning around RSI is turning around and so is the MACD so this is basically starting to look like a downtrend making lower lows and if this breaks then we'll make another low we were down roughly 20 percent and that is not a lot considering this massive run here then 20 percent pullback is not uh, a lot going back towards 3300 or the previous highs before the pandemic that would be a, a, a nicer pullback considering all the things that are going on in the world at this point so let's look at the dow jones and of course this will be heavily affected uh, by the uncertainty in the world economy and also you can see we're making lower highs and this looks like the third lower high that we are creating here uh, also lower lows and therefore we could drop all the way down to uh, 32,000 if uh, we basically break this stochastic negative so is the rsi macd is still bullish but it is turning around and we had a terrible day today uh, we're down roughly 1.3 th uh, 34 percent and we also broke below the 50 moving average and the thing with this candlestick here is that there's no pullback at the end of the session so people were basically selling into the end of the session and that is not a good sign for this market at all if we break above the 50 moving average then we could go targeting the uh, 35,850 uh, level and then the very highs but that is then there should be some uh, pronouncement uh, from the fed and or something completely turning around with the world economy in order for this to happen you can see this has been the same trend 
the last if basically for this uh, year 2022 rallies and then pullbacks rallies and then pullback rally and then pullback and who knows where the bottom is at the current stage i don't think it is here or it was there so let's look at the european market this is the dax and also dax is looking terrible uh, so dax down at 1.31 percent and, and uh, uh, compared to the other three indices that we have looked at this looks even worse than those if you look at the fibonacci retracement for for the dax we can see that we kind of got to the 50 Fibonacci retracement stalled there. We didn't get to the 61.8. And um, yeah, I don't think we're going to get there. We have the 50 moving average right above. So we'll run into that and then it will drop like a rock. But taking out that counts like roughly at the 13, 14,000, then this will basically be a tidal wave. I think it's going to be a lot of choppiness and then go um, and test this, retest this very bottom. But especially the the European economy is not looking very strong. Uh, increase in energy prices uh, will definitely hit manufacturing in Europe, German economy, DAX, for example, and therefore expectation for this is not very high. Also, rampant uh, inflation is also going to basically eat away people's um, disposable income. They will not have money to basically throw at the, the uh, stock market as they had uh, during, during the pandemic. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bullish. Stochastic is bearish, but in bullish territory. And the RSI is turning around quite aggressively. And there is still a lot of room to the downside, as there are for all the indices. They have been rallying the last week and a half, and now it looks like they are turning around. So let's look at the VIX as the last thing we're going to look at. So VIX had a massive rally up here, mainly due to the crisis in Eastern Europe. Then it had had a pullback. We're still at the 25 at this current stage. We could drop towards the 200 moving average at 21. Uh, don't see that happening at this current stage as everything is basically turning around at, at at the moment so breaking above the 50 moving average then we are most likely going to go back to the very highs this market won't or these indices will most likely not get it back to um, the bull market before this goes back to um, the tens and the 15 level level so and so on so as long as we're at these levels and continuing going higher higher then we are most likely going to see these indices and also these stocks uh, suffer for that. So if you look at the MACD, it is look is still bearish and but it is turning around. The stochastic it also in negative territory by crossing the signal line and the RSI is basically flat. So we may have a few days here if we get uh, some confirmation that there are going to be more rate high rate highs and and uh, basically how high uh, how aggressively. Uh, how aggressive they are going to be then this will basically shoot up in the air if you look at the 10 year we did pull back quite significantly today 3.44 percent but we stopped here so if this um breaks then we'll most likely uh, drop towards um, uh, 22 2.2 and then towards the 2.144 if we break below that, then we're going towards the 50 moving average. But but it has also had a massive run to the upside. So pullbacks at this point should be expected. But as long as the Fed is going to increase interest rate, that will be bullish for the US 10 year and it will increase over time. So hope you found this helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.